The tiny island of Sombrero in the Caribbean was rich in guano or accumulated seabird droppings. Guano was an important source of fertiliser chemicals, including phosphate. In 1871, the mining lease over the island became available and a syndicate of people, including Erlanger, purchased the mining rights for £55,000. The syndicate intended to form a company to mine the phosphate. So the members of the syndicate became the promoters of the new company. They issued a prospectus and investors started buying shares. The syndicate then installed puppet directors in the new company and sold the mining rights to the new company for $110,000. So they doubled their money in a few months by selling the mine to a company they themselves had created. They were essentially both the seller and the buyer of the mining lease, paying themselves a huge profit. And the losers were the investors who had bought shares in the company. Once those investors found out, they went to court to have the sale contracts set aside so the company could get its £110,000 back. It all came down to the duty which Erlanger and the other promoters had owed to the company they were forming. Lord Gordon said they became promoters of the company and prepared the necessary documents for its formation and issued a prospectus to the public with a view of inducing the public to take up its shares. In doing this, the syndicate changed the position it originally held and put itself in a fiduciary relation to the company which it was engaged in forming. It thus became incumbent on the promoters not only to make full disclosure of the position they as owners of the property which they proposed to sell to the company held in regard to that property, but also to make arrangements by the appointment of competent officials and otherwise for enabling the company to form an independent judgment as to the propriety of purchasing the property of the promoters and of the value of that property and the price to be paid for it. The court found that the promoters had not acted in the best interests of the company they were forming and the contract was rescinded. From this case, we confirm that the promoters of a new company have a fiduciary duty to attend to the best interests of the company they are forming. Mm -hmm. 